Hey, welcome back to the Dave Shadell Show. It's great to be back with you guys after Christmas break. Now, I know it's a little past the new and the new year, but today we are talking about New Year's resolutions and sharing some thoughts as we embark on 2016. So, since you've probably already dropped your resolutions since January 1st, what better time to start generating some ideas for some new ones? And we're here to help you do that. I'm sitting down with Jen Wise, captains of the Lady Bruins soccer team, to hear her advice on getting fit, staying in shape, and talking about her athletic career. And what's a new year without some advice from yours truly? I've got just the shadows and shadoons you need to make the most of your new year. With that, let's get started. If you're at a loss for some good resolution ideas, maybe hearing some of the faculty's resolutions will jog your mind. Dr. Lovegrove resolves never to smile on an essential science test day and says that his New Year's resolution is 1280 by 1040. Mr. Stiegel resolves to limit his dessert consumption to two per weekday, moderation in all things. No guarantees about the weekend. <laughs> Dr. Radford resolves to, well, Actually, he forgot to make New Year's resolutions, so he just made a list of what he did last night. At the beginning, added the word stop. <laughs> German professor Mrs. Hansen resolves to Instagram each sunrise, sunset, and all inter interesting weather phenomena, just in case someone misses them. <laughs> in the theme of New Year's resolutions, we figured we'd bring in one of Bob Jones' favorite athletes, Jen Wise, a former captain of the BJU Bruins, and an all-American athlete. How are you doing today, Jen? I'm doing good, thanks for having hey, me. Hey, welcome to the show. Um, so a lot of people are making resolutions or hopefully have already made them since we're almost a month into the new year. And fitness is the one that everyone makes every year and breaks every year. So as an athlete, as someone who did this competitively, do you have any tips for the people out there who are not so good at the whole fitness thing? I actually can't say that I've made many fitness resolutions over the years just because I've been playing soccer. Because so. you're like already at the pinnacle, so it's hard to... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but our coach keeps us in shape and okay. we're kind of forced to be fit. Yeah. But now that I'm not playing, I've kind of seen I how understand. fitness is important. I know, when I'm not so. on the Bruins teams, it's really hard for me to get up and exercise every day. I understand. <laughs> so... Um, Running several times a day is key for me in making several a resolution. Times. Well, three, as in several times. And then just trying to eat healthy, which is really hard for me because I really like sweets. So. Okay, okay. Um, you're an all American athlete, right? Yes. And what is that exactly? As someone who's never done anything athletic in their life, could you explain it in those terms? Well, it's for the teams who've gone to nationals and then specific players on that team. Mm -hmm who they think are the best athletes or have oh. done the best get the title of All-American for them. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so as we wind down, some people are wondering, are there going to be lots of anything Bruins related for the soccer side of things this semester, or is it all just off-season training? There's a lot of training, but we're allowed three play days, which we can put as many games as we want in those three okay. days. So there's going to be three tournaments. I think one of them will actually be here at Bob Jones, okay. but the other two will be off campus where we'll play teams like Furman and mm -hmm. other teams like that. Okay. Do you know when what that play day is that's going to be on campus? I don't. I think it will be in March. Okay, so a little ways out. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jen. Well, Have a great you day. For me. Well, if you're looking for a little bit of New Year's resolution advice from yours truly, we have some shadows and shadoons for you today. Do start a hobby as you begin this new year. Don't start model trains as a hobby. I lost a cousin to model train addiction, MTA as they call it. Haven't seen the poor soul in four years. Do focus on your school work and schedule as the semester starts. Don't lose track of your schedule because if you don't keep track of school, you'll drop out. And if you drop out, you'll never get that job. And if that happens, it's all downhill from there. Next thing you know, you're a professional mime working for pennies in Tijuana. It is a sad life. Do try something new. Don't try something old. 
Listen, I know it looks good, but that carnitas with extra guac burrito has been in the fridge for like two months. Do yourself a favor, don't eat it. Do, look forward to things to come in the new year. Don't look forward to President Trump's inauguration, America. You brought this on yourself. Do eat healthy and exercise. Lose some weight for the new year. And if you want to be happy in the new year, don't do any of that. And finally, do find things you can improve upon in the next year. Don't, well, actually there's no don't. That's some pretty good advice. Man, I'm getting great at this advice giving thing. It's like I should have my own TV show or something where I do give advice and don't give advice. But then again, who would ever watch that?